what do we mean by atmosphere? And what this really means is it's the feeling of being part of the scene, right? It's the mood of a place and time more than the mood of a person. So a character might be scared or angry or, uh, you know, whatever. And as a, an author of fiction, you definitely need to dive into that character's experience, right? Show that person being afraid, show that person being nervous, being anxious, et cetera. But how do you do that with a place, with the room that that character is inhabiting at this time? And, you know, that's what really what we're talking about here is what's the sort of emotional uh, resonance of the place itself, of the things that are happening, not inside that character's personal experience, but outside that is affecting also, again, that character's personal experience, because that's what it's all about. Yes, about your point of view characters, personal experience of the story. That is that that's the thing that's shared with your readers. So this really starts out immediately, right? You don't necessarily have time, necessarily. Let me just say this flat out, and I'm not a rules guy. I'm not never do this, always do the other thing, right? All rules are made to be broken. This is a creative uh, endeavor, and there's no, there's no perfect. It's never been perfect, right? But if there is a rule, right, start right away. And never, ever, ever, ever do you need to and never, ever, ever should you begin with some sort of info dump that is, but they need to know, everybody needs to know the exact details of this place and this time period and anything, how tall the character is, what color her hair is and all that kind of stuff. Do we really need to know, right? So here's four examples of the first sentence in these books in Gravity's Rainbow by Thomas Pynchon a screaming comes across the sky, period, right? No details, <laughs> no, no details about anything. Something happens, right away something happens, something happens that has emotional resonance. People don't, you know, scream casually, something is going on, right? We, now we need to know who's screaming, what are we taught, what kind of scream, is it a scream of delight, et cetera, right? And you're again, you're looking to grab that reader to get to the second sentence, to get through the first paragraph, to get to the next paragraph. Um, the, the ability to lose a reader in that first page, um, more so than at any point in, in, your, in your book, believe me, right? This is your first impression. 